previously on Investigations 2. Just look at me. Just look at my godliness right now. Dissension among the ranks of the lawmakers. I love it. You thought an updated autopsy report was bad. Well, just wait till you see autopsy report that turned up in the last half of the case. Bad. Is it possible now? I thought about this too. Is it possible the footprints came from Rocky? Actually, those were the words of your old man. You're becoming more like your father. My father. I mean, they're patting it on a little thick, but I don't mind, though, because it's so good. Now, where was I? Okay, I think that's better now. I just breathe through my nose again. <sighs> well, that sounded pretty congested there. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. It's only now that I've actually come to believe it. Mr. Reed. Well then, Miles. Now it's time to put those skills to the test. Think beyond your limits. If the murder weapon was a sharp object, does that really negate your reasoning? That's it! There were five chisels placed inside this special cell. Dogen is a former assassin. It's quite possible he could kill someone with just a chisel. I could even see him training a dog to use a chisel. He just hold his mouth and turn his head sideways to a certain motion. Is that all? Well then, I suppose you'll be- Oh! Don't even start. Evidence is everything, didn't you say? The murder weapon was a sharp metal object. However, such a weapon has yet to be found. You're not actually that dumb, are you? To not see the chisel sitting right there? Mm. Yup. Oh yeah! What did you say? I said slap! I don't have to slap you, slap yourself. Yeah, I did. Damn! If the chisel was used, that means the killer was human. However, that fact remains- the fact remains we cannot deny the security photo. Yeah, what about that photo? I'll give you the answer. This photo shows the moment. Oh. <laughs> wow, um... Dog killed the victim? I don't think it's... <sighs> I want to say someone attacked the dog. Because we still don't know for sure that the victim was the one in the video. I still say that could have been a guard. I don't know why it would have been, though. I don't know what he would have been doing in the cell. I'm gonna try this, though. Someone attacked the dog. The person attacked the dog. It's obvious the person is the one being attacked. Oh, well, okay. I didn't read the question right, did I? With that photo. Okay, okay, oh, it's uh, my bad. This photo shows the moment the dog leapt at the victim. Here we go. It must be. Yup. Mm. Holy crap, dude. I see. If the victim was moved, it would have been possible for Dovey to commit the murder. Would it though? Because, like... Uh, he would have taken it to Elbert's cell. How did Dogen get over there, then? I mean, he could have just reached through the... Well, no. <laughs> oh. I bet your teacher used to write on your report card. Needs to pay more attention on what others say. I think that describes you more. <laughs> we examine that room. Every every crook and granny, right, Justine? You don't even have to say anything, it's okay. We examined all four of Mr. Dogan's chisels. We found no traces of blood. All four? Uh yeah. <laughs> when I came here earlier, I saw five chisels. That's right, there were definitely five there before. So the one that disappeared was... Exactly. Probably for portable use in a porta potty you know, to chisel... Never mind. I'm not free to leave this place. 
I don't need of a porta potty. Not free to weep, you say? In that case, he mustn't have been free to hide the deadly chisel either. <laughs> Dogan, you just dug your own grave. It seems you know something, but you can't show it. Yeah, what did he say again? Wow, it sounded like the music skipped for a second there. Dogen can leave, so the place he hid the chisel is... He couldn't leave, so he must have hit it right here then, right? <laughs> Dogen is a prisoner, so he can't leave his cell freely. Perhaps he could have sent his dog out to dispose of it. Uh-oh. But he would not have been able to confirm the weapon's location. After all, dogs don't speak English, no matter how smart they may be. Above all else, special metal tools are allowed in this cell. Even if one chisel were to appear here, no one would suspect a thing. You'd be a fool not to take advantage of that. I see. Of course, it's always safe to if you keep something yourself. Mm. I examined everything. I didn't find any hiding places in his cell. To check his butt? I'm certain that the murder weapon is here. The reason you haven't found it is because it was cleverly hidden. Okay, you say I hid it. Where exactly? Think, where could he have hidden it? I have to remember everything up to this point. There must be some clue. Yep. Get out. <laughs> Man, I would've just put it up there on the, in the statue's hand or something. Well, no, people would've looked. They would've checked there. Come to think of it, that dog hasn't barked at me once today. Previously, on investigation students. <laughs> previously, when I came to this special cell, barked on Dogen's command. That's it. That's what's been out of place. This is one place he could've hidden the murder weapon. Given up already. How dull. How dull. I will present evidence. This piece. Uh, unless I'm like super stupid or something, I'm not sure what we're talking about here. This piece of evidence shows where you concealed the murder. Is it on the dog? Could be on the dog. Oh, wait. It's the hound piece. It has to be! <laughs> what is that? This is where you hit the murder weapon. Miles, what do you think that's impossible? Oh! Oh, I thought maybe... Okay, uh, I, I... I don't know, though. I thought maybe, like, you could open it up on the bottom, and stick something up in it. But they said it was the smallest one, so, uh, okay. Anything like a chisel? Ready to give up. No, you did hide the chisel, and my life bar is still over three quarters full, thank you very much. Well, it's not, be, it's not gonna be pretty soon here if I keep this up. I feel like there's so many things that could be. I'm gonna try the dog. Hasn't your dog been awfully quiet today? Now that you mention it, it hasn't barked at all. Before, it was t <laughs> Sorry, Sir Hadouken, open that dog's mouth now! I know this doesn't bark needlessly. I ordered him to do that. Oh, well, you mean it's in his mouth. Oh. Are you sure that's safe? <laughs> uh, in that case, order it to bark now. Naturally, you should be able to, if you have nothing to hide. It was inevitable. Anubis, show them your mouth. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. As you can see, a dog of this size can easily conceal- ah! You auto scroll on me. <laughs> Why a chisel? The dog really had one in its mouth? And that goes along with it being small, too. And that's why he didn't bark, obviously. That makes sense now. I just didn't think he would have had it in his mouth. I thought maybe under his collar or something, or maybe he, like, heaven forbid, stuck it into him to discipline him not to bark. No. I don't like to think about that. That's... Ugly. I got it. You got what, man? What you got? 
God. A reaction! This chisel tests positive for blood. Oh, crap. Is that really true? I don't see Dogen as being a Case 2 killer, though. I see him as being the Case 5 killer. Or Case 4, I'm not actually sure. Uh, <laughs> but okay. Tick. Would this chisel be the murder weapon, then? It reacted positively for blood. What do you think, moron? Oh, I'm so mad right now, I just want to swing my hammer. Mr. Dogen, now that the murder weapon has been found, I must ask you for your testimony. I don't want to do that, though, because I'm scared of you. We know how your dog got to the detention center, and we found the murder weapon. Do you still think you can talk your way out of this? Of course. Interesting. Man, the way that music starts with that little bang of the whatever that is, the drum... timpani or something, I don't know. <laughs> I just pulled a word out of my ass there, I'm pretty sure that's not actually it, but anyway. Of course he's smiling. Well, Anubis, it seems everyone has become suspicious of you. It's quite troubling, but since it has come to this, we have no choice but to tell the truth. We haven't seen that sprite before, and that is some scary shit. I did not kill anyone. I've been long since grown weary of killing. What's this? His face looks completely composed. So cooperative, aren't you? Oh, we gotta do him now. I, I thought it was gonna be logic chess first, but no, we're going straight to testimony here, man. First of all, I would like you to explain my motive. I do not know anyone by the name of Nightly. We share no connection. So I wouldn't think some mo I already know. I already know what it is. has fangs at others on my command. Well, yeah, I guess so. I do not hunger for the great light so much as I have to kill a man I do not even know. Coming from an assassin, it sure is persuasive. <laughs> Honorable. An assassin who only kills acquaintances? I doubt that would be very profitable. I make it strangers in my line of work, but I never make it personal. Is there evidence that shows a connection between Knightley and Dogen? Oh, yeah. That's easy. Rebuttal. Let's butt him up, baby. Alright. I do not know anyone by the name of Nightly. We share no connection. Would you like to say that again once I show you this? Objection! Maybe I should have pressed. He could have got some funny dialogue or something. I don't know. Is it just me, or does it look like that statue in the background on the right there kind of has blood on it or something? <laughs> it's kind of creepy. You've lost your touch, Sir Handogan. If you had your dog clean up after you, you should have disposed of this, too. This is a record of a correspondence chess game found in the victim's cell. This record and the chessboard in your cell both clearly depict the same game. Oh! First flinch, but he barely moved. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of him for that. I've heard that the number of possible chess positions is around 10 to the 120th power. <laughs> nice of them to put in a little font there. Don't bother, Kay. It's a, it's a lot. Is that even a real number? Indeed. There's absolutely no way these two could have co coincided by chance. Tell us your reason for killing Nightly. Unless you intend to explain this as a coincidence. Maybe it is a coincidence. Well, don't they say that the truth is stranger than fiction? It is as you said. This is merely a coincidence. I think he's talking about a different coincidence. I think maybe he found the sheet somewhere and just duplicated Well, no. Hang on, though. My correspondent's chess opponent was the victim in this incident. Oh, that coincidence. Well, yeah. The odds of that are more like 1 in 7 billion, but... <laughs> That's a little more likely than 10 to the 120th, boy, I tell you. 
I did not wish to be suspected, so I had Anubis carry the body to the war room. After that, he pulled out the murder weapon and returned to me. Ah! So you're saying the one who pulled the weapon out was Anubis? That's right. If I pulled out the murder weapon here, the blood would have been a problem. Yeah. He did say he saw the dog there, but he thought the dog killed him there. I knew that wasn't the case. It's when dogs drag people, they do it by the neck, you know, it's the best way to get the most leverage, as much as I hate to... It's a truly hellish scene. I mean, so I witnessed the moment the murder weapon was pulled out. Not the murder itself. Oh yes, that prisoner's testimony. It surprised me when I first heard it, I almost had a different voice there. It's not often that Anubis makes a blunder like that, right, boy? Now, I believe that explains my actions. I did not kill him. All I did was remove the murder weapon. Now, will that be all? Anubis is getting tired. Objection. Damn, Ray coming in with the objection over here. Oh, well, there, wait a moment, Mr. Dogan. Mr. Shields, what are you doing? Isn't there one thing you haven't explained? God, his music is so good. Good point. Well, I mean, he had chisels in his cell, so it makes sense that he would want to get rid of it. Because they would say, well, it's a chisel, it probably came from him. And the bell, well, that too. same. So the bell was attached to the chisel, that's why it triggered the chisel when I examined the bell before. Mm -hmm. This is still so creepy. Looks like he has one on his knife over there too. That's definitely not a chisel he's holding there. <laughs> Almost looks like a turkey baster. <laughs> you remember well. It has been a while since you last saw my balls, after all. I've never seen your balls, sir. Don't they spread allegations like that. When I prosecuted you in court, I confiscated a knife with the bell attached to it. Yes, my bells. There are only two in the world. Only two. They're custom made, attached to my knife and Anubis's collar. Even though I can only rely on my ears, I can easily identify them. Alas, one has been confiscated and is not in my possession. Hmm. Are we gonna see this case? I get a feeling we will. When Anubis brought the body here, I heard a familiar sound. I thought my knife must have been embedded in the body. So imagine my confusion when I found out it was merely a chisel with my bell attached. Wait, hang on. So somehow the bell got from the knife to the chisel? Is that what you're saying? Either way, those bells are my trademark. He said there's only two in the world. Moreover, I'm the only one in this prison who uses chisels. With all this, I knew I would be falsely suspected. So, I removed the murder weapon and hid it. Hold it! Can't say I blame you there! So you're claiming that you only moved the body. Not to know there was even gonna be a body to move, actually. It's not, well, I mean, the dog attacked him. Uh. Okay, wait, no, there's not six chisels now, are there? <laughs> Is that me? But how do I check for forensics, you dummy? Forensics! Yes, ma'am. Scar. Ugh. 
Wish I could heal that fast. Was he like Wolverine or something? Reaction! We have fingerprints! They're nightlies, Justine. What about Dogans? Nope, just nightlies. And there's no evidence of prints being wiped either. Oh, good for you. Should we re-examine it? Can't see no need. See now. I never even touched that motherfucking chisel. Because I ordered a new one to carry it in his mouth. In other words, the fingerprints to the chisel's original owner. Surprised I didn't get, like, licked off after all that time with a dog carrying it around. Hmm. Yeah, that is something. At any rate, I did not touch the murder weapon. In other words, the killer could not have been me. Isn't that right? This is bad! This is really bad, because... <laughs> How could this... Is he really not the killer? Could Dogen's testimony actually be true? This can't be! It seems this is sufficient enough not to warrant any further explanation. As it stands, you have not changed the state of this case. I believe this is more than enough reason for us to relieve you of your badge. To save any needless fuss, I will wield my hammer now. This is bad, sir. They sound serious. It's regrettable, but... With those prints as decisive evidence, I'll have to rethink my logic from step one. Damn! But there's still many unexplained things. Why would Mr. Knightley be carrying a chisel? It could be used for many things, perhaps even prison escapes. Well, then how did he carry it into the prison? I mean, the prisoners aren't even allowed cutlery. Right, Mr. Edgeworth? They have to use those little plastic sporks, you know, and boy is it a pain in the ass to eat with those. Alright, you don't have to punch my ear, I get it. Hmm. Well said, Kay. <laughs> Another song? Or is that like, wait a minute. No, I've heard this. Yeah, this is really beautiful. Oh, I turned it off. Dang. I should have gone slower through the dialogue. I don't know. Currently, I'm a defense attorney's ass. No, an ass. At my father's firm. I've made a commitment to this case. Therefore, if I don't save my client, I cannot say I've achieved it. I will abide by this. To save Simon Keys. No matter how many times my logic fails, I will always find another possibility. Back in the ring we go! Well then, let's search for that other possibility. To start with, do you think there was a way Mr. Knight we could have brought the chisel into the prison? Do 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 do. Can't present profiles here. Did he do it with the chessboard? Because first we thought it was a knife that was in the chessboard, right? Take that! So it was just a chisel then. Mm hmm, but they mailed the chessboard so it got around it. Mm hmm. You got it, baby. Man, why do I look so hot suddenly in this picture? Something about black and white makes you look real good, Edgeworth, what can I say? 
Knowing this, Knightly asked Simon to send him a package with a chessboard containing the chisel. Aha! Well, this solved one of our problems. The fact that the chisel is not Mr. Dogan's but Mr. Knightley's. That kind of makes him look like... Well, what does that mean, then? Somebody took it from him and killed him with it, but... Who would have known that he had it, first of all? He didn't, like, kill himself, right? Yeah. You are stumped. Mr. Edgeworth, we could use one of my secret weapons, sir. Can we? Oh, he brought one out! He does have seven! Oh my god! He wasn't kidding! I thought he was just making it up! <laughs>